everyone. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see this video. There is another big box just arrived. Um, what's in the box? It's a laser cutter. I purchased it before my Patreon got shut down. And um, it's I finally saved up uh, enough money to buy it. But guess what? Unfortunately, it's not the best time to waste more money. But it turns out there is no way to return it or resell it. So I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to shoot some videos to show you the specs of the machines and show you how to use it. Uh, and also in uh, Shenzhen, there is a free market every weekend. Maybe I will apply it and I can make some small projects and sell it there and make it uh, Made enough money to you know uh, make it up back to the money I spent on the laser cutter. Uh, this, as you can see, this is a very big machine. It's about two hundred thirty-two kilogram and it's over five hundred pounds. For a small person like me, of course, I'm not gonna hurt myself. But the delivery boys, they're very really nice. I make a small deal with them. I. Uh, <laughs> I cook lunch for them and they're eating in the hallway and I pay a little bit of cash they are going to uh, set up for me and put it at the corner so uh, I'm not even bothered to touch it but after they set up uh, I'm going to show you how to use it right now I'm going to show you some specs of the machine so what I got is a 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters laser cutter it is made by a company called Jinke it costs about 11,000 uh, RMB uh, it sold this about 1,750 US dollars it wasn't cheap it is as expensive as a laptop or maybe a very good 3D printer and I did some research on the power settings and something like that I decided that 80 watts would be about right and it has an off-light controller, which means you don't have to run it attached to your computer all the time. It has its own controller. This is what the laser cutter is going to look like once I unbox it. And on the back, there is a big black uh, square, a big black box. Actually, it is holding up the laser cutting tube. And the more powerful tube you have, the longer it is. It is kind of annoying because there, it is very hard to fit it anywhere. And the one you see that are more compact, it has much smaller, maybe 30, 40, or 50 watt laser cutting tube. So that's nothing much I can do. I can shorten it. And sometimes you can specify the color because they uh, put everything together kind of by per order. But I don't think that's that important. But definitely get wheels. A lot of people told me it is heavy and it is. So I got the wheels. It helps me to uh, move it around uh, easier. Now there are different packages available. I got one of the better ones. It comes with um, offline controller, which we already discussed. And you use a program called LaserCat to help you figure out where the line is. It says what kind of generator it has, the quality of the tube, and the kind of power supplies it uses. I think that is power conditioning and the other features the unit comes with. But I'm not quite sure on the Chinese English translation. It has something called the C-Lift, uh, which is automated, which means to go up and down, you only need to push a button. Some machine comes with a crank or no C-high adjustment at all. And it uses linear slide instead of rush, which is much more accurate. Same is with 3D printers. And um, there are stepper motors. It comes with a chiller instead of one of those cheap aquarium water pumps. And it has a rolling thing. I think it uses, I use it, uh, you use it for a bottle or round bamboo objects. I'm not sure, something like that. That was an option. And with all the features from 50 watt to 100 watt, there are different price ranges. But as I said, I settled down on 80 watt. Voila, like magic, right? No, no, it has been a week since last time. The delivery guys, they came and put it over here. I also got some other helpers, some helper elves. This is not a one nail me project. I cannot do this alone. 
Uh, anyway, it is it is all set up. Looks like it. I got overwhelmed. It. I thought I would just use it, and then I realized I don't know anything about it. So I have to check the menu first, and then I have to uh, maybe check out a lot of videos, watch them, learn how to use it. So this video, it's probably gonna be a little bit choppy. So be a little bit patient with me as I go along. I'm gonna learn how to set these things up. Laser cutter is can be very dangerous. So I don't want to uh, be careless. I want to be cautious. They give me the exhaust fan. Uh, I have, uh, I'm sure I gotta put it somewhere. And I have two tubes here. I'm going to uh, put it outside my balcony. I think this needs to go outside because it's for the smoke for ventilation. Here I also have the air pump. And here is the cooler. It keeps the laser cutter cold. I got this hose online. Uh, the machine comes with its own hose, but I think this one is a little bit better. So I'm going to use this one instead. Okay, this is just a super simple tea connector that I made in Tinkercad. It is literally two and three uh, cylinder combined together and then subtract them. It's very handy. Now they have something that fits. If you have a 3D printer, definitely think, consider uh, printing your own tea connector or whatever connector you need. Uh, because they will make everything go together much more smoothly and it is a very easy part to make. I'm going to use this tape to tape around the hose. I'm not sure if this is the uh, white tool, but uh, I have tons of it. Hopefully it works. Okay, I'm using a little bit of blue tag to wrap it around the T connector. I'm just going to wrap it around and then push it down and then press it against the hole. I don't really want to uh, tape it around the machine because I want to be able to pull it away easily when I have to do something and I use blue tag on a lot of stuff.
So this is the laser tube. I'm going to move the shipping foam. Uh, and I saw some pieces of the packing foam left. I'm going to vacuum it later or so. I think for now I can just put the holes like this on the balcony but it's not a very good solution I will think of something better maybe um, I will show you the whole process step by step in another video but I just want to show you quickly what I did is I uh, mo modeled the parts from goes from round tubing to a rectangular slot to go through the opening in my sliding door and uh, I didn't write all the, all this code. I just pasted it in from the internet and uh, changed a few variables. I can do the rest in OpenSCAD too, but um, it is just easier to do it in Tinkercad. So what I did then, I just imported the part and added the round bottom and the square at the top. It only takes me a few minutes. Again, CAD is kind of its own kind of video. If you are curious in uh, on how to model badly between multiple uh, CAD program instead of using one program to do all of them, uh, maybe I can show you in the future if you're interested. I'm printing the model on my Creality 3D and the free. As many of you know, I'm sponsored by Creality 3D and I've been using it for everything. And it has been great. It is a real workhorse. If you are interested in one, I'm going to put the link in the description box. And it is about $200 at Gearbest now. It is a very good deal. And I'm printing out half of the prints. And then I'm going to put it together with gel super glue. I do it a lot. It is as strong as it was in one piece. Sometimes stronger, depending on the orientation of the parts.
it seems fine. I'm not gonna take it right now because later I might have to move the laser cutter. So I'm just leaving it like that. All right, now I'm going to add uh, the water into the chiller. This has been filtered by my Xiaomi filter. I think it, it will be, uh, it is clean enough. So, but I gotta be careful because the pump is right next to the uh, funnel. So. Uh, the reason I'm pouring it in because uh, the water in the chiller keeps the laser tube, the CO2 tube, from overheating. So this is a very important step. Okay, I've watched a lot of tutorial videos on how to do this and I've asked my friends a lot of questions. I think I'm ready to go. But it is my first time, so I gotta be careful. I even got the fire extinguisher in case something bad happened. Anyway, it is a dangerous machine. I think everybody should be careful. So I'm not going to turn on the laser part. I'm just going to open the machine first. Why right, you can see there are some zip tie on the X axis. Going to take them off. I just let me try another one instead. There are no more zip ties, and now let's turn it on.
myself, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Even though I'm not there yet, but when I'm able to do it, you can do it too. Please subscribe and check out more videos from my channel.